Good, aye. Yeah, um, we just watched the wee button there after training and we know, we know they're capable, they're a good team, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. At Ibrox, are you favourites? Um, but we're happy to do that, Ibrox. I'd say that, but I wouldn't go as far as saying my favourites. Um, as I said, we've watched them there. We know they're capable of a really good result last night at, at Parkhead. So, yeah, we know what we're up against and well, the match will make sure we're ready. Will they provide perhaps more attacking threat than any other team you face this season, maybe with the exception of Hibs? Yeah, they probably would, yeah. I, th- I think they'll, they'll, they'll come and have a go. I think they'll want to they win, win the game. And, yeah, um, they've all the good players. Ken Hemmings has scored a, a lot of goals on this season and boys like Stuart and, and, and Rory Lloyd beside them as well. So, yeah, they'll be dangerous. Is it a different kind of challenge, this, because um, I suppose maybe this, uh, before the St Johnston came in the League Cup back in the autumn, the, t- the team was flying and it was almost as if that game came by surprise. And then you played Kilmarnock, the other team that you played who were in the uh, in the Premiership. And that, that tie appeared a bit, of a, a bit of a struggle, a bit of a... Just a, partly because of the way that they played, you know that Dundee are going to come out, and we, you know that they're confident. You know that they're going to fancy the chances of winning the game. Yeah, they will, I think they will. Um, but they'll have to hand that match to us a wee bit. It may help us play the way we like to play. Um, and you see some games that we play in, in our league, a lot of teams kind of sit in and, and make it difficult for us. So if Dundee come out and, and have a go at us, then it makes us. Dundee rested quite a few players last night. Does that just show how seriously they're taking the threat from you guys? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, the, as I said, it was a really good result for them last night. The boys done well for them, and but I think they kept a few of their boys fresh for Saturday. Yeah, so they'll be. I think they'll be ready to go. Are you reliving your goal against Kilmarnock? What's that? Sorry. Are you reliving the goal you scored against? Yeah, I've I've seen it a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was a good goal, and personally, it was a good goal. But um, on the night, it was it was a great one for the boys to get through into the next round. What would it mean to you then to have a similar sort of impact on Saturday? Yeah, it'd be great. Um, it was as a striker, you want to score goals, but at the end of the day, it's the most important thing as as we get through the tie. You've been sort of feeling extra pressure on your shoulders with obviously Martin being injured to your heart, so you step in and start a few games as well? Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, obviously, there's, there's always pressure on you at, at Rangers. Um, I've said that before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been obviously unfortunate for, for Martin. He's, he's done brilliant for us and you don't like to see anybody getting injured. And, but he's getting there. He's, do, he's doing all his, his, his treatment's going well. So yeah, hopefully he's, hopefully he's back soon. You've been waiting patient with your chance though, I take it, for, for all these months that he's sort of been on the team and... Well. Yeah, that's that's how football works. Sometimes some somebody's obviously make an injury, somebody else make a chance, and yeah. So hopefully, if I get a chance, then yeah, hopefully I take it. It's been frustrating when you've been sort of in and out the side in terms of substitute appearances, but you've not really had a run of, run of starts. Has that been sort of hard to deal with the last few months? Um, yeah, I've I've said before um, in that situation that as a football player you want to play in every game um, possible, but we've got a great squad here, um, a lot of good forward players, and as I said, if you get a chance to start, then you need to, you need to make sure you take it. Is this in a way sort of good timing for you personally because of the contract you're up at the end of the season? Um, yeah, as, as I say again, you, you want to play in every game and as I say, my contract is up at the end of the summer so it's down to me to go and, and perform in the games between now and the end of the season and, and push for a new contract. Have you had any sort of chat with, with Mark about where that's, where that's at, what you need to do if, to, if you have to sort of get an extension? No, 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 I'm under contract until the, the end of the season so it's as I say, it's just down to me now to perform between now and then and, and take it from there. What was the situation in January then? Because Livingston were keen to take you, did you just... I don't think that was anything. That was nothing in that. I don't know where that came from, to be honest with you. Is it, is it in any way unsettling that you don't know what you're going to do next season? Um, to be 100% honest with you, I've, I've not really thought about it that much, to be honest. Um, I've just been concentrating on playing and, and as you say, I've been on the team a bit more regularly just now. So I've not, maybe in the next few weeks I might have a think about it more, more but just now... To be honest, no, I've not really thought about it. Just going back to the game, um, I think Dundee's players have quite a lot to say about this game. Perhaps in jest, has there been talk about that in your dressing room? No, there's not, to be honest. We're, we're not really interested in what, in what they have, what they're saying. We just, we just concentrate on ourselves and, and make sure we're ready for it.